Costa Rica versus Ecuador. We're gonna share with you our comparison of the two based on what experience you might ask. We've spent over nine months in Costa Rica and six months in Ecuador. Let's begin with the funnest topic of all, beaches. Let's begin with a little size comparison between the two countries, as in how much coastline does each country have? In Costa Rica, they have 800 miles of coastline or almost 1300 kilometers, whereas in Ecuador they have 1390 miles of coastline or 2237 kilometers. To provide you with some perspective here first, the total size of Ecuador is 109,000 square miles compared to Costa Rica, which has a total size of just under 20,000 square miles. So even though Costa Rica is almost one fifth the size of Ecuador, it has almost half the coastline and available beaches. Now that's not to mention that Costa Rica is also blessed with a Caribbean coastline that Ecuador just simply doesn't have. All of Ecuador's beaches are limited to the Pacific side only. Now, Ecuador has many attractive beach towns, such as Monpiche, Ayampe, Montanita, etc. Some of these even feature good to excellent surf breaks. But when it comes to comparing the two, Costa Rica wins hands down when it comes to beaches because not only will you find very good beaches on the Pacific side of Costa Rica, like Playa's Tamarindo, Playa Hermosa, Playa Flamingo, and many more, you will also find paradise like Caribbean beaches such as Puerto Viejo and Playa Punta Uva. In this particular point of comparison, Costa Rica will win hands down for just the variety of beaches and the beauty. Is there anyone out there watching this video that likes to eat at all? Point number two is food. Ecuador will have slightly more culinary imagination with things like their corviche, bolones, encebollada, etc. But neither of these countries are famous for their food. Imagine you're at home on a Friday and you're trying to decide what kind of takeout food you're all into. Hey, would you like to go out for Costa Rican or Ecuadorian food tonight? That's a conversation that just doesn't happen. If you're looking at traveling to or relocating to Costa Rica or Ecuador, food probably isn't the primary interest item on your list, but the next point might be. Wildlife and biodiversity. When we think of awesome wildlife and biodiversity, Costa Rica is almost synonymous with that and probably one of the first countries that we think of. And why not? With Costa Rica boasting macaws, sloths, monkeys, snakes and more, it has become a very popular eco destination. Many thanks to its able tourist department. Costa Rica is fantastic in its own right, but this is a video comparing Costa Rica and Ecuador. And as such, Sorry, Costa Rica, but in the area of biodiversity, Ecuador is by far and away the winner here. As ranked by mangabay.com, Ecuador is the ninth most biodiverse country in the world. Whereas Costa Rica, it ranks 27th. To put that into more relatable terms, such as species of birds, Costa Rica has 850, while Ecuador has 1,659, fully double the amount. In the subcategory dear to my heart, hummingbirds, Costa Rica has 53 different species and Ecuador has 152, fully triple the amount. Reptiles, Costa Rica has 245 while Ecuador has 490 different species. You get the idea. A special mention must be made here for Costa Rica because in the area of biodiversity to land mass ratio, this country is outstanding. Point number four, Cost of living. Costa Rica's cost of living is basically on par with Canada, generally speaking, with some specific items being less and more expensive. Ecuador's cost of living was considerably less. The difference being made up primarily in the everyday areas, such as accommodations, which were around 30% less in Ecuador than Costa Rica, and food around 50% less in Ecuador than it was in Costa Rica. We've recently made a video for you detailing our cost of living in our recent trip to Ecuador. Ecuador, 
in its non-beach towns was probably one of the most economical places that we have visited recently outside of maybe Indonesia and Guatemala. Number five, tourist visa free stay options. Ecuador offers Canadians 90 days and Costa Rica offers the same. Number six, safety and crime rates. As ranked by Numbio.com, Ecuador is the 27th most dangerous country, while Costa Rica is 47th. In another metric on this site, suggests that Ecuador is 10% more dangerous than Costa Rica. From the considerable time that we have spent in each country, we will offer you our experience, however non-scientific, generalized and biased. In Costa Rica, you're far more likely to experience a break and enter of your accommodations than you are in Ecuador. Although it definitely still happens in Ecuador as well. The main difference here is that in Costa Rica, they are generally non-confrontational. So they will often watch and wait for their opportunity when you are not at home, leaving you unharmed, but relieving you of all your valuables. This same experience in Ecuador is far more likely to be while you are at home, confrontational and violent. They have far less aversion to becoming physical with you. Even though it seems the home invasions happen slightly less often here, you are more likely to be harmed. Oh, and the end result will still be loss of your valuables, minimally. At the time this video is being recorded, civil unrest and violence in general is escalating significantly in Ecuador making it a prime candidate to put travel plans on pause there for now. They have recently, as of January 2024, declared a state of emergency and for the next 60 days because of cartel related violence and additionally government fighting against those cartel factions. Number seven, currency. Costa Rica uses the cologne, whereas Ecuador uses USD. Many of you watching this video are from the US, and so for you, Ecuador is far more convenient from a currency standpoint as you can use your home money with no hassle of conversions, calculations, etc. For your next video, we provide you a comparison of these two awesome locations that you'll likely be interested in.